Throughout Halo Infinite's campaign, we became more aware of a huge problem looming on the horizon. Something on Zeta Halo was worse than the Flood. Is protected. The containment facility in particular. Containment? The Flood? Why would I... You and I both know that there are worse things than the Flood within this ring. Today we are going to explain what we know on the Endless and speculate on what might happen in future installments. Spoilers are ahead. When we first meet the weapon, we travel through a room filled with Forerunner Silexes. These are Forerunner genetic repositories, devices they would use to index certain species. In here we can see humans, different covenant, and even a rat easter egg at the bottom. Silexes are pretty big in Halo Infinite's story and what will release beyond it in the future. This story begins and all starts with the Harbinger. In one of the early levels, we can see a Silex or outline of a character in this object. Chief and the weapon say this. Another Silex. But this one's open. What do you think was in it? Another problem. Why so cynical? It might be something good. Trust me. It won't be. So this is obviously the Harbinger. We can tell by the outline here, it looks exactly like her. So how did the Harbinger get here? She appears to be a new alien race, so who brought her back? That's definitely a big question and we're gonna answer that in a little bit. Early on, we journey through the Conservatory. It is here where the Harbinger destroyed Despondent Pyre, the Monitor, and took away this key. We begin to learn about the Harbinger's goals. The Endless will be found. They will ascend. I know of you, Reclaimer. But hear this. You are not the future. You okay, Chief? I'm trying to get the armor unlocked. Try harder. The Forerunner's lies are at an end. I am the Harbinger of the truth. The Endless will be found. They will ascend. Now would be good. I know, I know. Three. The reformation begins. Two. Near the end of the game, we race to the silent auditorium to stop the Harbinger who is transferring information to someone, or something. This silent auditorium is described as... My earlier efforts to delete you were misguided. I thought she wanted to rebuild this installation, to restore it. But I was wrong. The seal is almost broken. That thing must not be released. Must stop her. It's a courtroom, a prison, a place of execution. All these things, together. Why? To call their sins, we stood silent, unable to speak as they passed Judgment. We could not defend ourselves. We could not reason with them. Something sending a signal. Before you ask, I'm already tracking it. Hear this, forerunners. Your auditorium has fallen. The endless foul. Your sins undone. Today we return. So this is the place the endless were trapped long ago. We kill the Harbinger, but she says this. I am sorry it took so long. Who is she talking to? Unknown. The signal's old? Like, really old. My time is ended. Yours, too. They will make sure. We need extraction. Of course you do. On my way. The Endless will return. <laughs> In the legendary or heroic ending, we learn what finally happened to the Endless thousands of years ago. As it turns out, the Forerunners had some issues with the Endless. Speaking, we hear Despondent Pyre and the Grand Edict, a new forerunner it would seem, talking about trapping away this endless species. Are the vessels prepared? The Silexes are ready, as is the auditorium. Grand Edict, 
Th this is most unprecedented. The Endless must be contained. If Halo cannot end them, it must imprison them. When it is done, the engineers will be busy. We will learn their secrets. So the Forerunners and the Endless coexisted, but the Forerunners couldn't destroy them with Halo, considering they survived the firing of the ring, so what did they do instead? They would just trap them here. The Harbinger told us that the Forerunners lied, that she would bring the truth and reveal that betrayal from thousands of years ago. Despondent Pyre says the Harbinger was in exile but has been brought back. But how? Some audio clips found throughout the game explain this. If you find this, you need to understand. They forced me to help them with it. Whatever it is. They brought it up from whatever's below. When it opened, God, it was something different. I've never seen anything like it. They called it a Silex. Sure. I call it something that should have been left well enough alone. The elites, the jackals, even the damn brutes seemed scared of what was inside. Eshram, their leader, he just stood and watched as they held my hand against it. They held my hand against the surface. It was cold, so cold it burned. I screamed for them to stop, but then... But then it began to open, slowly. Pieces moved, slid open, and then I saw her face. Oh, God, she was smiling. I am the Harbinger, she said. All that you know shall be undone. And do you know what he said? Asherim? He said, good. So the Banished use a human prisoner to activate the Silax and bring back the Harbinger. Harbinger sides with the Banished and then proceeds to try and bring back her race, called the Zalanin. So this is what the Endless were known as, the Zalanin. They lived alongside the Forerunners and had a mutual relationship for a time. This was until the Forerunners deemed them a threat and trapped them here on Zeta Halo. Despondent Pyre the Monitor was then in charge of guarding the conservatory where they would reside. In current day, using a human, the Banished would open a Zalanin Silex containing the Harbinger. Her goal was to reveal the truth and to bring back the Zalanin once and for all. Halo was the Forerunner's terrible and ultimate solution to the Parasite's relentless advance. Designed to destroy all sentient life, nothing was allowed to survive. And we were sure that nothing had. We were wrong. Something has been found. Something that should not exist, yet does. I believed that the Flood represented our ultimate test. Our greatest victory. Perhaps I was wrong in my assumptions. To my dismay, it seems we have a new problem. I must investigate more before I bring this to the attention of the Council. How could this have happened? How could we not know of this till now? Xalanin, a species previously uncatalogued. Xalanin, a problem that must be solved. Did my makers know of them? How could they have kept this from me? I have requested counsel. Soon, I will know how to proceed. There is to be a parley. A meeting. Highly unusual. I have moved Installation 07 into sufficient range of air mold. Delegates are en route. From both sides. Unnecessary contingency, considering these unique circumstances. The Council has also provided me with an additional and curious directive. We must understand the extent of what their kind can truly endure. There are facilities on this ring quite ideal for conducting such tests. It is time for the silent auditorium to serve purpose once more. Now the logos on the Silax for the Harbinger and the ones we see in the legendary ending appear to be a little bit different, so I'm not sure what's going on there. If the Harbinger was one of the Endless or something tied close to them, that's kind of still up in the air. Many also think the Endless could be tied to the Precursors. 
another alien race that was far more intelligent than the Forerunners and predated their existence. But again, not sure if we have much evidence for that at this time. And to wrap this all up, 343 has also trademarked Halo the Endless at the beginning of December. So take this for what you will, a new game, expansion, spin-off, or book. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video about the Endless and the Xanolin species. Do you think they're tied to the precursors, or are they something completely different? If you'd like to see some more Halo Infinite lore and mysteries just like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you all in the next video.